Hey guys, Spray Prey here, and welcome back to Victoria 2. We're playing as Communist Nigeria. We are going to have to rally and try to beat up on Chad over here. So I think we're going to mobilize our forces. But first, I'm going to deselect this as our rally point. I'm going to make it like rally right here, our rally point. Let's go ahead and mobilize. Okay. Uh, I want to, tr well, you know what? We're going to have to raise our military funding anyways. So let's go ahead and do that as well. Uh, it's gonna suck, but hey, you know what? Maybe if we raise tariffs to maximum, they'll be okay. it'll be okay. Don't know. Probably not. Our taxes are already maxed. Uh, I could probably lower education a little bit too. See if that does anything. Not really. So I mean, I'm just gonna leave it. Sure, it's gonna soften the blow, but it's not gonna make the difference between between us having a good pop like between it being profitable and not profitable. So. Good, we now have fertilizer factories. Let's go through the microcomputers, because these, these things are going to go really fast now, because we've got all those extra techs. Uh, lose consciousness? Yes, please. What do people want? Um... Let's do more healthcare, I guess. Who's occupying this? Morocco? Morocco is at war with only Nigeria. Why are they occupying here? Oh no, Mali controls it. Okay, I see. Alright, so we won. We're gonna go to there. Alright, should be another crushing defeat. Oops. Alright, and then as soon as that's done, we're going to go over and kill him as well. Marco, do you want peace yet, buddy? You sure? You sure, buddy? He says he doesn't, but I think he does. Oh well, we can. I'm I'm perfectly fine just chasing him around for eternity, kicking this our little army's ass around. That's that's fine with me. Not really. I'd actually really like to be out of this war, but I think it's probably safe to, after we kill this to demobilize. Alright, looks like that went uh, pretty shittily for Algeria. They kind of just white pieced. <clears throat> That's good. Hello, United States. What are you doing over here? Oh, are they still sphering? Maybe they. Do they, do they have the sphere of uh, Liberia? Are they, are they Liberia's protector? Yes. Liberia has friendly relations with them, so that's probably, that's probably why they were rescued. Oh shit. You sure you don't want white peace, Morocco? God damn it. What about you, Egypt? Still no alliance. Sudan? Oh, sorry. Poop. Shit. 
Shit, looks like we're gonna have to remobilize. That sucks. Alright, what day are they gonna get there? January 15th? Maybe that'll scare them off. Yes, it did. Great. What's the supply limit there? So let's pull pull back a little bit. All right, those guys are going to go to Tuggert. All right, so let's let's keep this here and that there. All right, while we're mobilizing, it's going to take a second. But if they if these once those guys hit Tuggert on January twenty eighth, then I think we're going to go balls deep on these guys over here. When is it? 28th? So just two days. So let's put it down to... there we go. Okay. Now go in. Alright, I don't think they should be able to escape, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so now we got that shit on lock. How's the mobilization going? Got some units coming. Great. Alright, hopefully this will be a crushing defeat up there. Uh, let's move the rally point. Alright, and then I'm going to take the smaller army down there to kill the other smaller army. The itty bitty army either. <clears throat> yeah, we're all gonna move up there. Yeah, I'm guessing these are the other armies. Alright, we can now build regular clothes. That's great. Let's do green energy. That's going to also give us fabric factories. We're going to take some units back here to scare them off of the Tripoli. Uh, we're going to lose some population. That sucks. Let's go ahead and do a uh, thing. Keep on doing healthcare. That's fine. Whatever people want. Yeah, we like didn't even need this. Will you peace out now, Morocco? There we go. Alright, thank you. Demobilize. Okay, great. Yay! <laughs> Ah, shit. No, no, I think it crashed. No. Eh. It's okay, I mean, if we already did eight minutes, so... Hopefully... <sighs> yeah, it's definitely crashed. Hey guys, sorry about that, we just had a crash, and that really sucks because now we're back to the last autosave, which was right before all of my tactical geniuses, genius uh, ideas. Anyways, um, we're going to hopefully have to do it again. Uh, I don't know whether or not we should mobilize, because last time we didn't have to mobilize, so I don't think we will. Um, I think I think we'll just sit here and see how it goes, because I would rather not have to mobilize again. So let's go ahead and put it up to four, 5 speed, and see how we're going to do. Alright, so we got our, uh, so good. They're running away again. I don't know why the the main army of Morocco is running away. Dunno. But, um, I'm not gonna cry about it. That's actually really nice of them to do so. So let's go ahead and kill these little armies down here. Okay, so we had been digging in over here. So I'm gonna set, I'm gonna just break off half of these guys and have them waiting. I think we're going to be fine. Like, what are they attacking with? Just infantry only. So, 
Um, I don't I don't understand what they were thinking, um, unless they have some huge reinforcement wave on the way or something. I I doubt they'll win. They need some help over here, so let's go ahead and send those guys down there. I'm gonna send these guys in as well, just because so, then they can reach anywhere and be back up. Let's go down here. Uh, they didn't get a chance to dig in, which is great. We just finished the regular clothes factory. We were gonna do green energy next, which gives us more mining and farming output, so why not? Yeah, I have no idea why that 75 stack just went away. Like, it should not have. They would have wrecked us. Um, I think Morocco might want peace now? Yes. Alright, good. So we got the peace a few months earlier this way, too. So that, that works out. Yeah. Alright, and everybody's going to try to spread out. Great. Great, great, great. Um, let's go ahead. We have our maintenance. Let's drop that down. Um, our subsidies are ridiculous, and it seems to be working, but I think that's what's making our, like, our money is working. <laughs> so let's just hold here and make a shit ton of money to pay back this 90 grand that we have in loans. A lot of people investing in us, I guess, probably because we have a ridiculous population. But, uh, I'd really like to drop the tariffs, if possible, but it seems like it's just helping. So, dunno. Um, almost done with our saving up our 90k. Alright, so we should be able to repay our loan. Alright, there we go. Now we're not losing 45 pounds in interest. So, Jesus, we're making a lot of money. I should have had tariffs up all the way all the time, I guess. But the only thing is, it's like, what do I do from here? There's nothing that I can do that's gonna... Like, if we if we get in a shit hole like, now, what am I gonna... I, there's nothing you can do. I'll just be stuck here to die. Anyways, let's just go around and see if people are fighting in wars that we can take advantage of. Oh shit, I clicked the wrong thing. It's a uh, cold control to build in all provinces, yes. So let's go ahead, and now that we have a little bit of money, we're going to go ahead and do that. I would really like to do this down here where we have the coal. Alright, we're out of money, that's okay. We got our, our major stuff done. Um, Where's the other coal? Right here, okay. So we're gonna do that as well. Send some to our neighbors because I think that makes that gives us more prestige. All right, well there we go. Let's do some up here in uh, in, in Liberia or Tripoli rather, where we got the uh, the oil. I think we have more oil up here too. Yeah. Well, that's funny. It didn't. It didn't build in the one province that I actually wanted it to build in. All right, we're we're getting a lot more research points now. That's great. After we did all that education efficiency stuff, um, as far as the reforms with public schools now, that's great. Go ahead and do some more safety regulations, because I, I don't think that increases, it maybe maybe increases our administration costs, I'm not sure. Anyways, I'm going to repay this loan to Japan, because there's no reason to pay interest on that shit. Wow, we're just rolling through these. Let's go ahead and grab um, education efficiency real fast, and then we're going to go do any of the other ones that can give us some, like, f uh, factories. All right, and we're going to expand a bunch of shit over here. Oh, need more money. We can just roll around on this five speed. It's fine. All right, look at that. Nigeria, we're going to be so connected with railroads. Especially compared to our competitors. Like all the other African nations, I think we're I think we're gonna be the most railroaded. Hopefully we can catch up to them in military technology though, because I know they do have a slight advantage in that department over us. 
which could prove, you know, to be even more costly. Like, you know, we can have the greatest railroads in the world, but if they just get taken over by our enemies, then that would suck. Alright, so I don't want to pay more subsidies, so let's just keep on doing these uh, safety regulations. We're going to just plow through all those reforms. That's that's fine, I guess. I mean, that's just going to make our immigrant attraction go up. I don't know if we're actually going to get any migrants any at all, though. Wow, so many so many immigrants from China. They're losing 30,000 a day. I bet you they still have a ridiculous population. 300 million, yeah, that's insane. But they changed to China as opposed to the uh, People's Republic of China, which is interesting. What's their military like? Pretty, their military is pretty good, but their uh, their industrial strength is way better. How much population does India have? Two hundred million. Damn, there's so much population over there. Um, well, we don't even have engineers. So, do we have any engineers yet? For God, God damn it! Why do we have zero engineers? I don't understand. Like, we're encouraging engineers. You'd think we'd get some engineers. Oh well. Let's keep on encouraging people to be fascist. Alright, we got a buttload of money. Let's go ahead and upgrade all of our factories. Alright, you gotta show empty states so I know where to build some more vodka factories. Oh, let's do... Oh, yeah, a dye factory? We have plenty of coal, so... Anything that needs coal, you know, I mean, we can do. Do we have fabric at all? We need cotton and dye. So, yeah, we're going to get that from the dye factory there. All right, and then after that, we can build the uh, the f clothes factory in Liber Libya. Sweet. And I believe we do have a lot of cotton, right? Or, well, we have some cotton, at least. I know we got some cotton from... Uh, yeah, so we have, we have some cotton. We have at least three provinces. It might be nice to eat up Egypt, though, soon. They have 61 military power compared to our 78. Um, they have 40 brigades, though, compared to our 43. So, where's their... Um, they're allied with who? Ethiopia? Ethiopia is relatively powerful. What's their um, military technology, though? 7 out of 30? Okay, let's go ahead and grab some more military technology, then. Let me grab this guy, because that's going to give us the uh, equivalent of engineers in this game, the heavy weapons guys. Alright, so let's go ahead and look around and see if any of our neighbors have, like, no allies or shitty allies or something. Oh, they have a truce, I guess. Anyways. I'd really like to take on Cameroon, but I don't know if I want to fight Sudan. Let's see if we can't get an alliance with Sudan. There we go. So maybe if I, um... Maybe if I can justify a war... If I declare war on them, maybe Sudan won't come against us. Alright, so, so it looks like they still will come. But they might not come because they're our ally. We'll see. It could always shift around over here. There, hopefully there'll be a war or something that'll break out and we can just take advantage of it. What are the current wars right now? None. That sucks. I want to eat these guys. I mean, they do, what are they doing over here? Can we get military access from, like, Mali? No. And I doubt Algeria is going to give us military access. No. So there's no way that we can get over there without, like, boats or something. I don't think that's going to happen. Let's keep on just doing healthcare. Alright, we got a buttload of stuff um, done. Let's take a look at these factories, how they're doing. We still have some places without any factories at all. Let's keep on doing, like, dye and uh, fabric. Because that clothes factory is probably going to need a lot. I would assume.
All right, so in Chad, we don't have anything right now. Um, we don't have all these complex parts, so it's going to be really hard for us to build those sort of more advanced things. Let's go ahead and build a glass factory there and maybe have like a, uh, a liquor distillery here because I think those are doing well. We'll upgrade all of the factories that we can afford to. All right, so now we don't really have anywhere that's too super underemployed. Let's see how our factories are actually doing. So we have an artillery factory that's not doing half bad, actually. This liquor distillery is not doing so hot. It's probably because our tariffs are, like, impossibly high. I bet you we could do with some more glass factories. Yeah, because our stockpile for that is pretty low. Yeah, we're, we're paying a lot of industrial subsidies, but I think that has to do with our tariffs right now. So let's just kind of chill and see if uh, once we get some more RGO up in here, I think we'll be a little bit better. Okay. Um, so what's the, uh, what's the combined military might of these guys? So this little guy here, are they still sphered by France or friendly with France? No, nobody gives a shit about them. All right, so we could attack these guys. They have cotton. We need that. So they've also got Sengal. This guy here. And then who else? This guy? Okay, so looks like we're going to be fighting. Let's just do that. Let's go to war with these guys. We're going to send our armies down here. I'm going to try to make sure that they don't get too close together so that we don't take attrition the entire goddamn time. Hopefully they'll all take a slightly different path. Plus with all the railroads, you know, it should be it should be okay. Um, let's take a look at our infrastructure and see if that's getting completed. Yeah, it's completing. Alright, and so we're going to get our heavy weapons. So yeah, these guys have the weakest alliance, so I think they're going to be the ones that's going to be worth fighting and trying to take over. What do people actually want? Four point five people percent want that. Okay. What are our movements right now? Nigerian fascists. Eh. Nobody. There's no brigades for any of these movements, so that's nice. All right. Um, let's see if we can't pay for some of our military. Looks like we'll still be solvent. Even maxed, wow. So this is going to be a good war then. We're going to have to start decreasing relations with them. Send them an alliance request, that'll take out 50. <sighs> Decrease, alright, and then now we should be able to... I probably could have justified war the last time because I saw it pop up, but uh... There we go. Alright, now we're going to declare war for the Windward Coast. And I'm just going to declare war on them. Wow, that's a lot more than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, but these guys are all weak. Like, this guy had zero military strength, so I don't think we have anything to worry about. That sucks that he got a blast. But let's, let's just balance this guy out and send a little army back there to kill it. He was a big, that was a big army anyways. Bigger than it needed to be. Alright, and that should be their entire country, sieged. Um, it's too bad Mali won't give us military access, really. Oh. Maybe, maybe will they come fight us? Who's this? Hmm. Oh well. Singal's right there with their army. Okay. 
Hey, buddy. This motion carries. Oh, so at least when we piece them out, it'll be GG. Alright, I hope they didn't get any dig in. They shouldn't have got dig in because. Okay, well, we did get a crossing. Hmm. It's unfortunate. I think we're going to win. Yeah, we're going to win anyway, so. Not a big deal. Alright, it's getting pretty expensive to replace those units, though. Alright, so Liberia's next, probably. I don't know. No, Liberia, we're going to want to stay away from because I don't want the United States dropping the fucking hammer on our skull. So we're going to get the Windward Coast, which is this one here. So let's make sure that we send some units. Let's make sure we send them back over so that they don't get uh, trapped over there. Alright, so yeah, it's not going to let us. Okay, that's fine. We got most of our units out of there. That's good. Good enough. Alright, let's go ahead and do that, and we'll do a navy base, why not? How are our factories doing? Alright, we need to build one in the Windward Coast, so let's go ahead and do another die factory, why not? Upgrade all of our factories. Go ahead and look, see which things that they want. I'm going to do excellent regulations, because that's just going to further reduce the amount of needs that people have. Alright, and so now that there's all these factories, we're employing pretty much everyone. The, uh, yeah, these are really great. That is great. Alright. And uh, we can go ahead and drop our military funding. And they want an alliance back. Decline. No. Upper house got 100% communist again. Big whoop. Molly, I really want to eat you so that I can go fight um, Manturia and eat them. Um, let me see. You hate I hate you too, so let's, let's just keep on decreasing relations. I'll ask them for an alliance as well. Sweet. So we got the next um, tech and army stuff. Let's go ahead and grab fourth generation warfare because that's going to give us some more um, morale. Morale is really important. So yeah, we can take Guinea and uh, probably um, Timbuktu from Mali. What's their RGO here? Looks like it's a shit ton of fruit, some cattle, and a lot of gra and some grain, and some sheep's. That's cool. Ships. Okay, um, let's go ahead and uh, build factories bigger if they need it. All right, and I'm also going to check for. Uh, yeah, we already we already are, are sure that industry. Oh no, Could do a little bit more infrastructure. That's fine. Yay. Could build some army bases, or some yeah military yeah, army base. <sighs> All right, so that's going to be probably about it for this episode, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Our economy is very stable now. I thought I thought the subsidies would kill us, honestly. I was very worried. Um, the rest of the world looks like it's pretty much normal, um, except for the fact that like everybody's going ham over here in Europe because there's no infamy, so that's kind of cool. China, I don't know. I feel like they should be more aggressive, or maybe somebody should be more aggressive over here because it looks pretty boring. Anyways, I mean, I guess there's not really much you can do. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. Thanks so much for watching. Spray and pray out.